Oh, what's up, my pilots? Angry Punch here. We're back playing Pokemon Platinum Punch Lock. So, uh, you can see the party we've got over in there on the sidebar and everything, but, uh, uh I said I'm not going to bring in Queen for Defog, because it would be simpler just to teach it to Tetra. So we have a bird that can use both Defog, Defog and Fly, which would be nice. So I'm just going to forget double team. Hey, we learned Defog. Very nice. Alright, so let's, uh, bike on away, shall we? So I think we wanted to, uh, where was it? Yes. We wanted to look for the Dawnstone. That was the first thing. The commenters have confirmed that it is indeed in the swamps just west of Pastoria City. So I'm going to search for it and I won't stop until I find it. I have a, a, a purpose, a cause, a goal. I will not be d deferred. Or deterred? There's a difference between the two of those. Alright, just to double check. There's nothing... Oh, okay, well, hang on. Maybe it's up here. I don't know if I explored this swamp very thoroughly. Let's get item finding. Yeah, there's something here, all right. Nope. Get out of the, the squishy part. I see the little pulsing thing. Oh, yep, yeah, there's an item over here. Where's it at? An Ultra Ball. Yeah, come on. Quit teasing me, game. Oh, there's another one. It would seem. I don't know what it means when it pulses like that. Does it mean there's, a, there's another item nearby, or what? I don't get it. There is something else over here, though. Where is it? Dawnstone! Hell yes! Finally! Oh my gosh. They really tucked that one away, didn't they? Although, if I'd gone up there, that would have my radar would have totally gone off for that. There's a hidden item there. Uh, it's, it's kind of that nook and cranny, but I wouldn't have suspected it to be uh, item finder hidden. All right, sweet, we got the Dawnstone. You know what that means? It's time to bring Knight out of the PC. That is sweet, sweet justice right there. All right, this is gonna be awesome. Oh man, oh man, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. All right, Knight. Um, I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna put Nibbles away, and we'll bring in Knight. Actually, I'll, I'll put Nibbles down here with the cool kids. Why not? Still waiting on the shiny stone for Toggle, but supposedly that's on route, uh, the route that's uh, we've just gotten to in the last episode, and we're going to explore more in this episode, so maybe we'll find it, too. Alrighty, then. S friggin' sweet. Alright, Knight, let's check out where you're at. Oh, you got, you got Teleport, Adamant Nature. See, the Adamant Nature going to raise the attack stat, and lower special attack, I believe. So, Knight is ready to go as a Gallade. Synchronize. Nothing much going on right now. Confusion, double team. Lucky chant. Prevents the foe from landing critical hits. Okay. Alright, well, um... It seems only appropriate to give Knight the experience share. So I shall do that. Because he is a ways behind and it needs to be caught up to the rest of the party. I'm really hoping... Where is my... It's not in the medicine pocket. Ah. I'm really hoping that Knight can be the Pokemon who rounds off the party with the, uh, the fighting type moves that will be useful into the late game. Alright, sweet. Kick ass! Alright, so where do we want to go now? Uh, we could do Pokemon Mansion, but I believe I said I was going to make that its own video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to instead continue along Route 210 and try and make it to Celestic Town. Uh, Dawnstone in hand. Now that we have the Dawnstone in hand, I'm, I'm confident in taking Knight out of the PC because Anytime you take a Pokemon out of the PC in a Nuzlocke run, there's there's danger that they'll be dragged into battle from like a roar or something, and then you have to deal with it. So I didn't want to bring him out until we were ready to raise him up. So there we go. I only I got a few repels left. We already have an encounter on this route, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use uh, so we can zip straight ahead to uh, getting into the trainer battles. They're gonna be more rewarding one way or the other. Alrighty then. So I should I should be constantly searching try and find what I think is a hidden shiny stone on this route. My, my searching tends to be a little bit uh, haphazard at best, I think would be a good way to describe it. Unfortunately, that is, that is the case. Is there something buried here? Is that a trainer? Yep. I see an item over there, though. I want that. Why are you so struggling to recover? I'll already be the winner! 
I don't even know what you said, that first text box. I went right through it without reading it. Ooh, he's got four Pokemon. He's got Zubats. He's got four Zubats. This is like the guy with the six Magikarp. Oh, we got the Fog. Man. That's really annoying. Let's brine him. Man, we missed in the Fog. Confuse Ray. Beautiful. Right straight back to Confusion and Fog. Oh my god. It just... It, ugh. We just can't get a break. I'm switching. Uh... Chugga chugga chugga. Lynx, come out here and just Thunderfang this guy, please. I'm not gonna mess with the Confusion Fog combo. That is just too annoying. Air Cutter. And you missed. Ha ha ha. Works against you as much as it works with you. Yeah, we missed. Of course. Everyone's missing. How much does this fog lower accuracy? Because it seems like it lowers accuracy by a, a large amount. <laughs> quite quite a bit, I would say. At least 30% probably. It's really bad. Of course, the thing is, if you clear the fog, it benefits your ally just as much. And you miss... you lose a turn, basically, because you spent time clearing the fog. I'm gonna go right for the Thunder Fang. No point in switching around here. No, oh, my goodness. I'm starting to think that the accuracy of fog is like 50% or something like that, because this this is crazy. It, because I, yeah, I'm missing that much, it must lower your accuracy to like half at least. And night getting experience. Fog is deep. Golbat! He's got a Zubat and a Golbat. These ninja types and, and their uh, poisoned, poison type Pokemon. So predictable. I'm waiting for the, the coughing or the wheezing to come out next. Oh, but I guess they have Stunky for that now, so... No longer do coughing and wheezing. Skoropi Scor instead. Whatever. Is that a ground type? It's not ground and poison, is it? I think so. No. It's poison and something. Poison and bug, probably. I can never recall. Whoa, look at that! It's five with a sliver of health. It's a oh. Acupressure? That's interesting. <laughs> I like how I'm, I'm commenting on things a bit late here. I don't know. Gotcha. We got 354. Come on, Knight, get a level. There you go, level 18. Get on it. Now, when does Knight evolve into Curly? Uh, hmm, 20? 30? I don't, I don't actually know. Alrighty. Let's do this, buddy. Did I already fight you? I could use the hidden move defog. Gotta clear up the fog so I can see. Don't burden bug Pokemon flap their wings. Oh, is it is it something I can do outside of battle? I think it is. I mean, we've, we've done this before. Let's, let's get rid of it. We did we did teach it to Tetra in this episode so we could use it. Uh, there we go. Let's. Whew. And as soon as I put Nimbles away, I want Cut. Can Tetra learn Cut? I don't. Th I think we tried to teach it to her in the last episode and found that she couldn't learn it. Nobody can learn Cut except for Nibbles, it seems. Ah, that is so annoying. Just, ah, oh, if there was one thing I could change about Pokemon, I would just take HMs out. Just forget about it. Alright, Knight, take us back to the last town. We have to go get uh, Nibbles out of the PC so we can cut down trees. That is just super annoying. Oh, man. Alright, well, who do I put back in? Uh, see, I start carrying around too many you know, low-level Pokemon that I'm training up, and, and, you know, two HM slaves, what am I supposed to do? Alright, um... Who wants to go back into the box? Nobody does, man. Come on, this is... Oh, this is annoying. I'm going to put Knight back in, just because... Ah, uh, we'll have to train him later. Maybe I'll do an episode where I, I just do training? I don't know. It's just annoying to have to deal with these, these HMs. Like, oh, you gotta cut this tree to pass. That's just lame, you know? Let's make a quick stop at the Pokemon Mart before we go back out on that route. I probably need to restock on some things. I know I don't have but two repels and very few healing items left. What have you got for me? Do -do 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 -do. Just boost some Hyper Potions. I don't even care. I'm take nine. I'll carry on ten at a time. Why not? Tell me you sell useful stuff like repels, please. What? Do you have the repels? Yeah, you do. They're way down here. Alright. Apparently, super repels are actually better for your money. Money's worth. 
so I'll buy those. And that's the kind of stuff you get to think about what you're doing when you make a game. It's like, hmm, just do my prices for items in the shop make sense, or, <laughs> or do they just totally give people a, a leg in? Oops, I t we teleported to the last Pokemon Center, but what I really wanted to do was go back to the last town. So I should have flown. So we're trying to go north from Salazian. <laughs> Oh, having fly is so nice. Oh, man. We had to beat five gym leaders, I think, before we picked it up. Four or five, still. Finally! Alright, let's, uh, thread the needle here and get back to what we were doing. Namely, Route 210. Alright. More repels, please. I like in Gen 5 when they just prompt you, like, Hey, do you want to use another one of those repels? <laughs> and you're like, Yes, I do! Of course I do. Oh, it's foggy. Let's deal with that. Now, you see, the thing is, I would just have nipples, but I don't think the nipples can learn fly, so... Uh, the, the parody of HM Slaves just... Uh, it annoys me having to put Knight back in the PC, but he was the logical choice. It's just to get past some grass?! What? What? That's obnoxious. Just seriously. I don't even... Alright, you know, I should have known that. We've been over here. It looks like I need rock climb in order to get to that thing. Man, there's been so many places where you need to have surf or rock climb in order to go somewhere. I'm getting annoyed by... Whoops. I didn't even see him there. Ah, <laughs> a ninja can use all kinds of skills. You do have skills, don't you, kid? I didn't spot you there underneath the dirt, I guess. Don't they usually hide in ash piles or something? This guy's just hiding in dirt. Alright, moth him. I don't think I have anything to worry about here. Go for the brine, like usual. And you missed. Come on, man, it's not even foggy out here anymore. Yeah, poison powder is not going to do it. Confusion. Spy won't take too much from that. Spy has a great HP stat, which is pretty stellar. Alright, a lot of experience. Oh, probably because there's no, nobody holding the HM share anymore. Or the, the, the experience share, rather. So I guess I'll give it back to, uh, to Spy for now. There you go. Alright, let me, uh, look this way first before I continue along the route. Actually, I don't know which way is the right way to go. Let's just battle this dude. Keep making progress, we'll get there eventually. The buff physique isn't just for show. Sure it isn't. Sure it isn't. When was the last time you had to lift something really heavy? Like, you actually needed to lift something heavy. Not that often, I suppose. Spy v. Macho. Hmm. We can handle it. Let's go for the brine. Like, like usual, right? Go for the only stab move. What else would I do? Oh, not gonna quite do halfway. Seismic toss is not a super dangerous move, though. You know exactly how much damage it'll do. I don't think you can even get a critical hit with that. I can brine him again, and then quick attack to finish. So he won't be able to hit me a third time. Wouldn't matter anyway, I would go first. Revenge! Uh-oh. You're kidding me. Wow. I thought Spy's HP was better than that. I didn't think that Macho had that kind of power. This is ridiculous. Oh, man. I just, every time I feel like I'm starting to get my part, my party figured out, I lose an important member. Oh, man. This is ridiculous. Oh, boy, I just... I, I never know what to say after that, something like that happens. It just... What can you say? I was expecting another seismic toss, you know? Uh, oh, boy. Let's go get that item. Oh, I see another trainer before we get there. Get off the freaking stairs, dude! Alright. Well, that was great. Just... Our Eevee, our Waterstone, and all those exp experience from the experience share now... Now gone. I don't even... Alright. <laughs> I'm going... I'm regrouping here. Because I only have three Pokemon now, basically, so... I need to revisit the PC. That is super annoying. Man, I don't... 
Now we need another. Now we have to find another water type Pokemon. Well, we have. All we have is Mud, and then we have uh, Lando and and Shelly. Lando is worthless, so it'll either be Shelly or Mud at this point. Uh, I don't know if I want to even look about that right now. Let's. Oh boy, let's take Knight out. At least we can get him the experience share, get him some some levels. Spy, you have to go to Valhalla now. Jeez, it's like the, the Pokemon that have died make up a better team than the ones I have left. Ugh, oh, come on, man. That sucks. As soon as I get attached to the little guy, he's gone. Man. Let's get out of here. Alright, well... Let's give Knight the experience share and hope he never has to get into a battle. I'll leave with Umbra. Actually, we're gonna fight that poison guy next, so I'm gonna leave with Bell. I'm gonna try and order my party in some sensible way here. Alrighty. Back north again we go. This is becoming repetitive. I'll, ugh, I'll meet you back where we were. Alrighty then, we're back over here. Let's continue battling, shall we? Ninjas. Oh man. I can't believe I lost a Pokemon to a Machoke. That's not even. I gotta play more intelligently. It's just go for the super effective hits. Don't leave Pokemon in if you're unsure about what's gonna happen. You, you can afford healing items. Just. Man. Those like runs are hard. That's the short and long of it. And it doesn't. Oh, it's dark and poison. I, I have the wrong Pokemon now. Uh, oh boy. Umbra can handle this, I'm sure. You no know, Stunky had dark typing. Hm. He uses faint, it's interesting. Because I think this is a generation where faint only does damage if, they're, if your opponent uses protect, right? Something like that. Stunky. Friggin' Stunky. Knight getting experience, at least. Gold Bat. I can take out a Gold Bat. Not too much danger there. Still even not speed it. Probably not a Crow Bat, but as, uh, a Gold Bat. I'm not gonna outspeed. Finish him off. Nice. Critical hit! Gold Bat fainted, is that it? That's all you got? Yeah, get out of here. I want to go get that item. Quit messing with me. Smoke ball. What the hell is that? Some kind of Pokeball? I should be searching more thoroughly for items. This person looks like she might have... I don't know. Let's just fight her. <laughs> we'll find out. Charms of... Oh, bird Pokemon. I wouldn't have guessed that. Looks like Lynx gets to have a battle. Hoot hoot! Alright, here comes Confuse Ray or Hypnosis. I'm calling it right now. Let's bring in Lynx. Bringing in Lynx is always satisfying because you get to intimidate. It's just one of those great abilities. Confusion. Huh. Not what I expected. Just as well. I don't think Hoot Hoot is going to stand up to a whole lot. I want to know how Game Freak decides what Pokemon they're going to put in the next game. Like, when you play through a, a typical version that's not a hack or whatever, and it's not Gen 1, they have to decide what Pokémon from previous generations are going to appear in the game. And it's like, why did they pick, you know, Hoot Hoot and Noctowl? Why isn't it, why, why don't they have Pidgeys, you know, or why don't they have whatever it was from Gen 3? I don't even, what's the name of that little bird? I never used him in Gen 3. Talo? Swellow? One of those? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how they make those kind of decisions. It's it's an interesting question. Knight getting some experience. Alrighty. That was surprising. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. It wasn't surprising at all. Hey, that looks like a spot for stuff. Nothing much down there, I suppose. How about this? Alright, let's just keep on rolling here. Oh, look at that. More items I have to surf and stuff to get to. Hey, buddy. Very well, I've decided. I'll battle one last time with you, then I'm retiring as a trainer. We'll hope you're ready to go out on a loss. Veteran Brian is gonna have nasty Pokemon. 
this will not end well. Uh, does he have the poison subtype? I think so. Ingrain. Ooh. No roaring now. It's just, I don't know. Ingrain would be a good move for like a tang growth or something that was a wall that you wanted to have fixed in the battle. In competitive battle, I mean. I think in, uh, it's a vanilla game, you're not going to get much use out of ingrain. It doesn't reduce, it doesn't restore enough health for it to really be worth using a turn on. Ponyta, that's Bell's only weakness. I must switch. Bring in, bring in Umbra. Absorb the fire type hit. Or at least a stomp or something. We'll probably have to heal. Mm, fire spin. Well, that's not going to do, that didn't do much. We're good to go another turn. I'm gonna go for the. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the bite. I was tempted to roar him out just to see what his other Pokemon was, but, you know. We'll get to take him out in a minute. Takedown? Is that gonna have recall damage? Oh, I was close to taking him out. And fire spin. Alright. Time to heal Umbra. Use one of those hyper potions we just bought. Nice. So satisfying to watch your health bar just refill just you right back. Especially when you do it with recover or roost or something. Oh, you're gonna kill yourself with the recoil. You fool! And Night Root level 20. Nicely done. He's not getting much exp much uh, <laughs> growth to his stats at this point. Oh, Weasel. Time to switch. Bring in Lynx. Oh, Pursuit! Damn, nice call! I'm not gonna do much to Umbra since she resisted, but still, I don't think I've, I don't know if I've ever seen a, a that kind of thing happen. That's crazy. Uh, I mean, a, 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 an AI opponent using pursuit and actually pulling it off on the switch. I, don't think I just think they don't they don't really get that to work for themselves very often. I should have gone to the Pokemon Center when I, or when I was back in town. Just Lynx is getting low on it. Uh, Thunder Fang power points. Guess I don't think about it unless they're hurt. Looks like Lynx is gonna get a level two. Yep, just barely it looks like. <laughs> Plus four. Oh nice. HP and attack. Oh, I've got a nice big lag spike. I've lost, but this rush I feel. What about it, dude? What? Night is evolving! Congratulations, your knight evolved into a boy in a tutu! What? Oh my. Oh my goodness. Alrighty then, look at knight. He's... pretty. Man, how long it's like, why you want to use that dawn stone, I wonder. I don't know... Oh, I don't know what level to, to evolve him. Oh gosh, okay, well... Ooh. Hmm. That's tricky. That's a that's a conundrum. Because I don't want to miss oh, that's where I came from. Oh, berries. End of the route. Yes. It's like a safe transition. Okay, well we didn't find the item we wanted, so I'm gonna have to go back and look in that other path. Which was up here. Yeah, I don't know what level to evolve knight. Oh man, having knight in the party is nice. I'm almost tempted to put him back in the PC just to make sure he'll survive survive to the Elite Four. Oh man. He's gonna be great, I think. Alright, tell me this is a shiny stone. Shadow Wall. Uh, that's alright, I guess. I don't know who I'm gonna teach it to. It's a good move to have, though. We'll definitely want to use that eventually. What am I. Where are you hiding this shiny stone, game? Alright. Let's do the item finder thing. I'm gonna scour this whole route. Starting from the end that we've arrived at. I'm gonna scour the route the whole way back. See if I can find anything. Alrighty, I seem to have found something here. Definitely an item around here somewhere. Full heal. Why do I even waste my time with this stuff? Man, I should just ask and have you guys tell me where the, the good ones are. It's using this item finders. Ridiculous. I still don't know what it means when it does that little bubbly thing where it pulses over and over. I'll try and demonstrate that in a minute. I found another spot where... Oh, here's another item. 
Hyper Potion. Useless items! Why? Why? I want good stuff. I want shiny stones and... I mean, at least nuggets or something. Something with value. Yeah, see, what does it mean when it does that? Does it mean there's an item nearby? Because I don't... Yeah, you're... Yeah, you're... You're a dude. What? I don't care. Oh, there is an item around. Ultra Ball. Yeah, you see, sometimes it pulses, and other times it shows you exactly where the item is. And I don't... I don't understand the difference. I don't get it. Let me show you another example. I was... Oh, take that. Take that bike off. Oh. Take that bike off. No. I was over here, and it seems like there must be something down on this little ledge down here or something. Oh, now it's not doing it? Yeah, see, look at that. A little, little... What is this pulse in action? What is this good for? I don't understand what it means. Why, why does it give me this... Why doesn't it show me, like, the location of the item? If there is one, why doesn't it show up on the radar as a little dot? Well, there's there's something. Why does it look different than the others? And now it's pulsing and blinking, too. Okay, it's over two and up two. How the heck would I ever get to that? That's... You can't even get over there. What in the world? You can't get up onto that rocky face up there. I'm totally perplexed by this now. You see this? You see that? What is that? Up there? That doesn't make sense. You can't get up there. Oh, maybe I need to ride my bike up there. That's what we'll do. We'll just start scaling cliffs and shit like this is some kind of hacked version. Just bonk right up the cliff. I'm really confused here. Anyway, I, apparently there's something else in here. I couldn't find... Could not find what we came for, which is the shiny stone, unfortunately. That might be it down there. I don't know. One way or the other. I'm just gonna go to the next town and end the video there. We've we've had enough shenanigans for this episode, I think. We still need surf and rock climb to get anywhere good, it seems. So I'm just gonna head straight for the Pokemon Center and uh, call it a day. So, another deathly day in Let's Play Pokemon Platinum Punch Lock as Spy has fallen. I can't even... Ah, he never even got up to... to ugh, it's just rough. He never had a chance, man. Alrighty, let's, uh... Let's review. Where do we stand in terms of Pokemon right now? Uh, I guess Mud is probably our best bet for a replacement water type, as people were morbidly pointing out a bit preemptively in the comments. These three are still hanging on good and strong. Knight! I gotta figure out when to evolve him. And I want that shiny stone. I can take Toggle out. Where would that leave my team? I wouldn't have... Okay, Toggle can learn Fly. Alright, Mud. So I'd have Water, Ground, Normal, Flying, Fighting, Psychic, Fire, Electric, Dark. Okay, I'd have a really great mix of types then. Because I think with ground and fighting, and two psychic types, I guess... Yeah, I, I think we'd be off to a, a fairly good footing if we decided to take Mud out, but I don't know if I will at this point. I need to check what his nature does. I, I, I wrote it down one time, and I've, that page has already been packed, I think, so I might need to write it down again. But he... whoops. Let me show you where, where Mud is. He's so happy. <laughs> Water and ground. He's gentle. I don't know. So... And he already knows, he's got the Damp ability, which is nice, I guess. No self-destructing. And he's got Mud Shot and Mud Bomb already. As well as Slam, so... I don't know. Shelly I'm not too excited about, but Shelly can learn Recover. So it's like, I don't... I guess I'll show you. Because Shelly will, will learn Recover at like level 55 or something like that. But really that doesn't mean anything to me because... I'm not going to use Recover, I'm going to use a Hyper Potion, you know? It's not competitive battling, so the moveset is not as important. Uh, yeah, it's got Rain, rain Dance is nice, though. So. Water Pulse and Mud Bomb already there, as well as Hidden Power, so... I don't know, there are a lot of choices to be made. Uh, I guess the, thing, the next thing I'm going to figure out is when is it time for Knight to evolve into a Gallade, and how soon can I get that Shiny Stone already? Man, we've had... Ugh, we've had Toggle for so long, waiting to, to have a chance to 
get him into a toggle kiss. I have in my bag the heart scales that would be necessary to get toggle all of his moves. Uh, but we don't have the, the stone to evolve him yet, so we're a bit stuck. One way or the other, in the next episode we're going to explore Celestic Town and uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully some good news. Thanks for watching. See you guys then.